you know, Indians, Hindus particularly uh, lack pride. Uh, they lack pride and more than pride, they lack a sense of defending their own culture when it is under attack because now the Christian missionaries are all over India. I think in Tamil Nadu or in Andhra Pradesh, there are at least 10 to 20 percent Christians. Uh, officially, there are three percent, but the conversions are going at such a you know, such a pace that there are 10 to 20 percent Christians in Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh and Kerala alone, and Kerala more, maybe 40 percent Christians. Then the Islamization of India is also there. It's also a danger that Islam, which used to have a more open face, so I saw it in Kashmir in the early days, you know, a more Sufi face, a more tolerant face, you know, I've become radicalized over the years because many Indians, uh, Muslims went to work in, in the Gulf countries and came back more radicalized and then in turn imposed this, uh, you know, on their children, on their wives. Uh, so there is an Islamization of India, there is a Christianization of India, there's a Marxism attack on India. So, so many factors make that, you know, Hindus are losing faith in their own culture, in their own religion, their own spirituality. Mm -hmm. And for that, we need not only education, we need, you know, we need a, I would say we need a second Kurukshetra war. We need to face the enemy you know, without it without, you know, in the spirit of the Bhagavad Gita, the enemy has to be faced in India by Indians you know, with a sense of the, not only the greatest of their culture of their spirituality, but that it is the last in the world and it is under attack. So they need to defend it. And you cannot defend just with words, you know, and goodwill and, you know, goody goody. You need to defend if necessary physically. And I feel as a Westerner, you know, as a lover of India that Indians do not stand for their own ethos, and that is another tragedy.